Hi, I'm Bill Fosnight, Chief Technology Officer and co-founder of Alert Innovation, now part of Walmart. So I met John Lert, our founder. Uh, he had hired away one of my best employees at, when I was working at a previous job. And uh, uh, John and I met uh, thereafter and started talking about his dream of putting robots in grocery stores to improve the operation efficiency of stores, but more importantly, making uh, grocery or shoppers' lives better. So uh, I started working with John uh, in 2012 and really enjoyed solving a new problem that would have such a big impact on everyday people's lives as well as uh, a huge industry. Uh, we started prototyping in the garage. Uh, we're truly a garage startup. It was a lot of fun uh, building these prototypes and uh, failing fast sometimes and learning. And uh, ultimately, uh, we met with Walmart and uh, Walmart provided us uh, the ability to start up as a company in 2016. Uh, many companies had done robots that move two-dimensionally in a mobile robot-only solution, but all those companies needed elevators or conveyors or lifts to move product from level to level. We wanted to have a robotic solution that it was just the mobile robots that would provide this high-density three-dimensional solution. So the true trick was figure out how to make the robot convert itself into an elevator and move vertically. By doing so, that allows a single mobile robot to be the only automation component within a system. That was very important because for especially grocery store applications or direct to consumer, you can't have an elevator or conveyor that could break and have to wait for a technician to show up. So this was a breakthrough. Uh, it was inspired by, we thought about a lot of different ways to have gears come out and extend and engage in a uh, gear rack and climb. And uh, kind of the breakthrough for me was thinking about, I had seen this movie, uh, James Bond Goldfinger, where he had the DB5 Aston Martin where the wheel spinners came out of the center of the wheel. And if you look at our robot, it's very much like that. It was the inspiration of having this very elegant design where uh, the gears come out of the center of the wheel and allowing it to transform itself just like uh, uh, James Bond's car transformed itself. Definitely solving problems, uh, you know, working with other teams, uh, uh, working with younger engineers uh, new in their career, filing patents, solving problems, creating innovative solutions. And uh, especially in a place where now it's not just making technology, but making technology, it's getting deployed at a massive scale in stores that make people's lives better, just like the original dream of uh, John and myself of you know making uh, stores operate more efficiently, but now making it such that these robots are doing the job that everyday people have to do, like going up and down grocery store aisles. Now our robots do that for them. I definitely like to solve problems. I spend a lot of time uh, thinking about ways, just like I did when we started the company. It was kind of a, a recreation to you know dream and think about how to make these new types of robots. But uh, I like bicycling. I do my indoor bike, maybe not as often as I should. Uh, but I like uh, golfing and fishing and uh, auto racing is something I like to follow, especially Formula One. We were acquired by Walmart um, late last year and for sure there's a lot of work we have ahead of us to uh, making grocery stores uh, more efficient and, and fulfilling on that original dream of uh, deploying this technology at scale. Um, one place it's already gone that I'm proud of is uh, our partner. We licensed to Murata Machinery of Japan and they've already deployed Alphabot in an e-commerce facility in Japan. So. The technology has applications outside of our immediate application, and uh, I think over time we'll see it expand to meet the demand in e-commerce and maybe other industries. But uh, for sure, we've got a lot of uh, work to do just uh, fulfilling the uh, grocery orders we have ahead of us.